Welcome to High School Chapel. I'm excited today because our head prefect, Damon Fleming, is going to be speaking with us. So I'm going to pray for him before he speaks. And in case you don't know Damon, he's been at GAC for five years. He goes to the Voice of Faith Church in Stone Mountain. He does football, track, student government. And when I asked him why I wanted to be the head prefect, he said he wanted to improve the connection between academics and the spiritual aspect of GAC and he wanted to be a person that people felt comfortable coming to talk to about anything. And if you know Damon, you know that he is that. And he is highly respected, and we're very grateful for him. So if you would, join me in prayer as we pray over him. God, thank you so much for a chance to meet like this and be in our classrooms, be here in the PAC, and just hear a message of the way that you are moving in the world. God, I thank you for Damon Fleming. I thank you for the leader that he is I thank you for his presence on this high school campus. And God, we look to you today. We look to Jesus as our example. And we want to seek truth in times like this, in chapel. We want to know you better. And I know that is a mission of David's, and he wants the school to know you better, God. And it's so evident to see the ways you have worked in his life and are continuing to work and show fruit in who he is. And so thank you that he has a chance to share today. And God, may it be an example to us and help us to grow in our faith this year, God, and not stay where we are, but move to where you're calling us to be. So thank you for this chance. We pray this in the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. All right, let's welcome Damon. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. That's 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 19. And I know we just prayed, but let's pray over this message and pray over this scripture before I begin. So if you don't mind, bow your heads with me again. Dear Lord, we just come to you today saying thank you, saying thank you for everything that you've already done for us in our lives, the things that you're doing now, and the things that you're going to do. Lord, we just ask that you would allow us to be open to a change today, open to a, a positive mindset change as we go throughout the 2020-2021 school year, that you would allow us to set positivity now so that the end of the year's outcome will also be positive. Lord, I ask that the message that's coming out of my mouth today would just resonate with at least one person. For we know that if one person is impacted, then we can impact the world. And Lord, we pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So now, before I get started, I just want to say that I'm so honored and blessed to be able to stand before you all and speak to you, uh, speak from my heart. And I know that we've had quite a few people giving us advice and talking to us over the past few months. Um, and, and that's great. We love advice from adults, but I think there's, there's power in, in having student-to-student -student conversations. And that's all that I wanted to have today was me to talk to you all, student-to-student, -student, just about something that I truly believe is purposeful in the time that we're in right now with COVID-19 and everything else that's on our shoulders in the world and in this country. And so the challenge of today is, is that my message is called a positive mindset change. And it's really risky whenever you ask someone to change because as humans, we don't really like to change. When someone's asking us to do something different, oftentimes we shut people out. So today I'm just asking you to have an open mind as I go through my talk today. And maybe at the end, you'll realize, you'll say, Damon, I didn't need to change. I already had the, the positivity and everything I do. I'm always positive before I go into it. And that's awesome. Because I believe that once everybody on Greater Atlanta Christian Schools campus can believe before they go into a circumstance or before they go into a situation that they're going to be positive about it, then the outcome will be great. So now, what I want you to do is just think back to March before before we even really knew the impact of COVID-19. Think back to when they told us we were gonna have to go out of school, we were gonna be out of school. We thought, I think a lot of us thought we would be out for just, 
one week or two weeks and we'd be back after spring break. Well, we really underestimated that because I don't think any of us thought we would be where we are now. None of us were expecting that we would have to wear masks at all times in school. None of us even knew what social distancing entailed. We didn't know that that meant to stay six feet away from other people. We didn't think we wouldn't be able to hug and high five people on the first day of school. We didn't think that we weren't going to be able to have a spiritual retreat or fall learning excursions. And we for sure did not think we'd be following red arrows on the ground in the hallways. But see, the reality of it is, is that that's what's been given to us. And there's really nothing that we can do about it. That's already what's been placed on us. And our job is to figure out a way to overcome these circumstances. And so I believe that it's so easy to fall into the trap of being negative about everything when there's so much negative around us. Things that are presented to us, like most of us can, can perceive having to wear a mask and social distancing as a negative thing because that's not normal for us. That wasn't normal for us last year. And so because that's negative, a lot of times we fall into the trap of responding negative, of everything that we say being negative. I'm sure some of you have been around some friends that have even told you, you've got that one friend who's constantly telling you the statistics of, oh, this many people have died, or this many people have been impacted and effect, infected by this virus. And see, no, I'm not saying that COVID-19 does not exist. I'm not saying that at all, because I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand that it does. But all I'm saying is, is that if we change our minds and approach how we go about the school year, how we go about our lives, even in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of everything going on in the country and in the world, or whatever weight is on your shoulders as a high school student, if you change your mind to positivity before it happens, then it won't impact you negatively in the long run. And so I have a charge to the student body today, I have a charge to all of GAC, and that charge, that challenge is for everybody to have a positive outlook on this school year. And I believe it's so important that we do this now. It's early on in the school year. We're only three weeks in. It's important that we do it now. And some of you are probably saying, well, I may do what Damon's saying maybe a few weeks from now when I pass my biology test. Or I may do what Damon's saying a month from now when I figure out that I'm going to be starting on my sports team or I got that position in, for the audition that I had for the play. But see, what we have to realize is the positivity that you need to have is in the beginning. You have to go into that audition, go into that sporting event, that tryout with the positive mindset. You have to say to yourself, when you wake up in the morning, today is going to be a great day. If I wake up in the morning and I say, I'm going to have an awesome day, and I'm going to impact somebody in a positive way, then at the end of the day, you're going to have an awesome day. You're going to impact somebody in a positive way. But if you have a, a, a downtrodden spirit, a, a woe is me spirit about everything, when you wake up, you're just already down. You're asking yourself to have a negative day. You're asking yourself for a bad day. So I challenge you all, I challenge us, because I'm speaking to myself too. I'm not saying that everybody else, you're, you're doing all things wrong and, and I'm right. Because I know for myself specifically, I've had some days where I woke up late, I was tardy to my first period class, got a horrible grade on my test, had to go practice in the rain. You know, these are, these are all things that people can perceive as being negative, but if we switch our mindset from the beginning, then we can impact how the end, how the outcome is. And so I truly believe that whatever you speak over your life is what will manifest in your life. And so every morning I wake up and I tell myself that I'm going to beat all the odds. And you can see it on my shirt, I'm wearing it proudly, because when I tell myself I'm gonna beat all the odds, and whatever that means for you, because your odds could be different. There's so many different things going on in all of our lives. We all have different things 
that we're going after. We all have different challenges. But if we wake up early in the morning and say, I'm going to defeat that, I'm, I'm going to go against it, then you'll be able to. And so as I, as I close out, I just, I have a formula for you, and it has nothing to do with math, so, so don't tune out on me. It's, it says E plus R equals O. And so I got this from, from my football coach, Coach Hardy, and basically what it means is that there's three parts, and the E represents the event. The event is what's been given to you. The event for us right now is COVID-19. The event for us right now is societal discrimination that's going on in the country. The event for us is what's ever, whatever is going on in your life, whatever the weight on your shoulders is as a high school student. We didn't ask for the event, but we can combat the event. We can go against the event. Whatever it is, you know, COVID said, hey, you're going to have to wear a mask at all times. Well, hey, if we, if we change our mindset and respond to that with, well, hey, I'm going to wear the best mask that I can. Or, or if COVID said, hey, you have to stand six feet away from people at all times and you can't touch people. Well, I'm about to give you the best virtual high five that I can from six feet away. It's just, it's just the way that we think that has to change. Because I believe once GAC starts realizing as a whole that even though we are in the midst of unusual circumstances, this is not normal for us, but once we realize that if we just go about things just a little bit differently and put a positive, a positive slant on things, then our outcome becomes different. And so the R in the formula of E plus R equals O is the response. That's just, that's how you go about combating the event. That's, how, that's, how, that's what you bring to the table. That's what you can control is your response to whatever has been handed to you. And that's what will give you the O, which is the outcome. And so when you have a negative response, your outcome will give you negative. Your outcome will be ugly. And so if you didn't hear anything else that I said today, I just hope that you could take away this one thing, is that when your R in your equation, when your response is positive to what's been handed to you, your O will always be positive. You will always have great things in the end, always great things in store for you, for your outcome. And so I just want to say thank you all for, for listening to everything that I've had to say. Um, and I know that this is, this is challenging um, because as humans, it's so easy to fall into that, that, that mundane routine of we, we do the same things over and over and over. We eat the same things. We talk to the same people. You know, we have the same relationships with people. But what we don't realize is that our mindset doesn't change either. And so for some of us, we've been living with a negative mindset for so long that we don't even realize it. We don't even realize that we're giving off negative energy to the people that are beside us. But once we all start to shed positivity on each other, then GAC will be a campus of just positive people, positive students, teachers. Everybody on campus will be positive. And so I appreciate you for having an open mind about being able to change. And so that's, that's, that's what I have for you for uh, a chapel standpoint. But we do have just a few announcements, announcements for you all. So some of you may have already done this, but if you haven't, um, can you go ahead and pull out your phones? And we have a remind, a remind group text that we are trying to set up, um, trying to set up for the student body. And it's basically going to send out reminders and updates on everything that's going on on campus, anything you need to know from sporting events to, you know, plays or whatever. And so pull out your phone. This is just a remind. You're going to text to the number 81010. You're going to text the code at G-A-C-H-I-G, at G-A-C-H-I-G to that number, 81010, and you'll get all of the, the updates and reminders on everything that's going on on campus. And the last thing is there is a video that's going to play for you all, and this is a, a video on behalf of the GAC 2020 2021 prefects 
And I just want to go ahead and preface this by saying that a lot of us are kind of embarrassed by this video. So uh, just bear with us here. But thank you for listening to me. What's up, GAC? My name is Damon Fleming Jr. And this year, I am your head prefect. I am so excited for all that's in store for this year. Myself and all the other prefects, we have been working tirelessly to come up with so many activities for this year. But that's enough for me. Now, I would like you to meet the rest of the 2020-2021 GAC prefects. Hey everyone, my name is Parker Halleck and I am your academic prefect for this year. This means I'm responsible for monitoring and maintaining a healthy student-teacher relationship as well as improving the academic program in any way that I can, whether that's through developing and establishing new classes or creating a new student-led tutor program. Uh, if any of this interests you, please join my committee when the sign-ups are out, and uh, I look forward to hearing your ideas to make it a great academic year. What's good, y'all? My name is Dre Moxie, and I'm the admissions prefect. My job is to help new students and their transition into school life. My committee members are called ambassadors, and ambassadors help new students with everything on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, they help the admissions team with events. This year, we implemented a buddy system. And the buddy system is to help new students have a friend and also answers to any questions that they might have. If you're a new student looking for a friend and answers to any questions, please sign up as soon as possible. Also, if you're a freshman interested in being an ambassador and also having a buddy, please sign up as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, I'm Belle Shirley, and I'm honored to be your new publicity prefect for this year. I run the Student Life Instagram, where I post events and activities going on around campus. To make all this possible, I need your help on my committee. Please sign up on the General Prefect Committee application by clicking the link. I need your help for graphics, videos, and photos. Looking forward to a great year. Hey guys, I'm Sydney Deardorff, and I'm super excited to be your new service prefect this year. We're looking forward to a bunch of new service opportunities, whether that be from home, locally, or at school on campus here, making sure we follow COVID guidelines. I'm super pumped to get working with you guys. Make sure to join the service committee or let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Hi, I'm Kelly Dorr, your student life prefect. I help with red zone, prom, homecoming, pep rallies, and all things school spirit. Don't be a stranger. Stop me in the hallway if you have any questions, want to get involved, or just say hey. Go Spartans. Hey guys, my name is Danielle Jones, and I'm so excited to be the new Unity Prefect for the school year. My main goal is to help unite all the students on campus so that we can become more of a family and be more connected. I have the privilege of helping with all school events and chapels, and if you have any questions or you have any ideas, feel free to reach out, and I'm always here. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us. We are so excited for this school year. Go Spartans! <laughs> Man, thank you so much to Damon for that really encouraging message. Thank you for sharing with us and inspiring us this morning. And thank you, Prefects. What an awesome group that is. Get to know them. Go up and meet them. Find a way you can get involved the way they invited you to. And let's make this the best year we possibly can. And God's going to do great things. Let me close this with a prayer. And then for the next few minutes, up until 1150, uh, you can just stay in your advisement rooms to hang out with each other. And let's pray. God, thank you for this chapel and we just honor you today and step outside of ourselves and put you first. And we pray for the meals to come at lunch. We ask you to bless that. We pray for the rest of our classes today that we'll do our best and we'll use the opportunities given to us. Thank you for these words of truth today. And I pray for these prefects. I pray for the uh, groups they're part of, for the ministry they're doing and the activities they're doing. May your blessing, your hand be upon it, God. We thank you in Christ's name. Amen. All right, that's the end of chapel.